Hey guys, I'm Sonnet with Sonnet's Garden Blooms. I want to welcome you all to my channel. Now in today's video, uh, I thought I'm going to show a little 4th of July. I know it's kind of cutting it close. I mean, the 4th of July is right around the corner. Uh, but I do need to get my tablescape ready uh, for our celebration for the 4th of July. So I'm going to take you along today setting up my tablescape and how I do that. So I hope you guys enjoy. For project one for my tablescape, I love making my barn stars. And I cut them at a 45 degree angle. There are eight pieces. I do use one by fours. I am painting this one red, white, and blue uh, in honor of 4th of July. So I'm using Hey Sailor, Marquee, and I'm using Beadboard. And I am going to paint four of them white, two of them red, and two of them blue. And that back piece will hold them all together. So I am only applying one coat to each of these. And like I said, I'm painting four of them, the white. So I paint all sides, including the bottom. I like to have my projects completely finished looking. So I do paint the backside as well. Now that I have all four painted, now I'm breaking out the marquee and like I said, I'm painting two of those, the marquee red and same thing uh, with, as the white, just giving it one nice even coat of paint. So now that I have all the whites, the reds done, we're going to tackle the blue. And again, same thing. Um, and I love using the DIY paint. Um, but keep in mind, you can use any paint that you have on hand as well. I um, just love the vibrant colors of DIY paint. And I love how they go on and then how I, they distress when I do distress them. So here they are completely distressed and I use my hand sander to achieve this look. Uh, it I love it when the grain of the wood comes out and now that I've gotten this far I am going to uh, put a top coat on here. Anytime you're using DIY paint you do need to apply a top coat to prevent it from reactivating and then I'm going to take my brad nailer and take that square um, board and adhere them with my brad nailer. So the next project is I had all these spindles from a chair that I picked up out of the garbage and I thought well I'm going to paint two of them red, two of them blue, and two of them white and I am going to set them in my tablescape. So I do apply just one nice even layer of paint um, to all of them and like I said, I'm doing two blue, two white, and two red. And then from there, I'm letting these all dry. And I'm going to go back and take my hand sander and just randomly distress them to look aged and old. And then on, after that, then I'm going to again apply that top coat to completely seal them. So now I ran to Home Depot and picked up a few flowers. And one thing that always makes me think of 4th of July are geraniums. So on my tablescape that I'm going to be doing, I am going to add a red geranium, a white impatient, and then I'm also going to add just a, a trailer or like what I call a spiller. And that is going to be, um, and I'm going to put that on each of the table settings. So I think it'll be just really cute in the pot and um, so easy and inexpensive. Uh, the geranium was only like $2 and the impatient, I got a six pack. I think it was like five. And then that um, spiller or that vine that I'm using, that I actually, out of each one, I just divided it in two and that added just enough for all four containers. So now I want to do two larger containers just to set about and I'm doing the exact same thing except in this one I am adding some purple 
I wanted to add blue lobelia, but I could not find any. It is the perfect red, white, and blue plant, um, but unfortunately, Home Depot didn't have any left. Um, but I love how this turned out, and it's super simple and easy uh, to accomplish. So I saw this on Pinterest, and I thought it was super cute, and I had a bunch of scrap lumber sitting around. Uh, just ends that I had and I made a number four and then I'm going to use beadboard um, because that is the color that I've used for all the other signs and I am going to paint all these little scrap pieces beadboard and I'm going to paint the front and the back I'm going to let these dry and then I'm going to go back and I am going to distress them with my sander and then apply a top coat so now that that is done, I am going to lay them out. I'm taking my brad nailer and I am going to brad nail them in place. And I'm using one and a quarter inch brad nails and now I've created the number four for 4th of July. So next I am taking the new st set of stamps called Letterpress and if you haven't used our stamps before from iod you just peel off the backing and then you take a piece of sandpaper lightly sand them just to get them all prepped and ready to use uh, to stamp i am taking a little piece of backing um, i had a larger piece i kind of cut it up and for smaller projects like this and i am going to use use um, that and I'm going to spell out July and I'm going to stamp on there July. I think it's super cute. Uh, the nice thing about this new set of stamps, it does come with three fonts and I love it, um, especially for uh, smaller projects. I love how IOD has all the larger numbers or letter sets uh, for bigger projects, but this is perfect for this type of project. I am using our permanent ink and in black, I just make sure that I cover all of the letters and when I hold it down, I just make sure that I'm rubbing over each one so I get a really nice uh, clear stamp. So I had to make a quick pit stop and yep, I was at the Goodwill and I decided I needed to find just a few different items and I thought, well, maybe I'll be able to grab it here. And right away, I found these candlesticks. Uh, two of them were $3.99 each, and the third was $5.99. I also was looking for something red, and those bowls that I just went by, there were only two of them. So I continued to look, and I ended up finding blue ones here. I also found this vase, and it was half price, and then I I saw these and it reminded me of the 4th of July and I continued to scour through all the shelves trying to find more stuff. In the end, I had to use what I had at home. So I'm sure you've all seen me do this before, but one thing I wanted to add to my tablescape is I wanted some different height. And I found these at the local Goodwill and I sprayed them black. And now I am going to apply two coats of beadboard to the entire, to all three of them. And then we are gonna wet distress them. So now that they're all dry, two coats of paint on each of them and dry. We're just taking a wet rig and we are wet distressing all the edges. After they dry again um, from being wet distressed, we are going to apply a top coat to seal them and then they are gonna be ready for the tablescape.
so what did you guys all think? Uh, did you enjoy today's video? I hope so. I had a lot of fun taking you guys along, uh, setting up that tablescape. I love to decorate and pull things together. Um, and I flipped a few items, I showed you a few different DIYs. Uh, tonight I am going live on Facebook uh, at six o'clock. So I hope to see you guys there. If you haven't already gone over, uh, follow my page over at Sonnet's Garden Blooms. I also have a group page where you're gonna see a lot of inspiration from a lot of other individuals as well who are sharing uh, daily. And um, follow all my socials so you can see the behind the scenes content. So we'll see you guys on Friday and I hope you have a great week. Bye.